Welcome to Vigyan Setu Foundation, an effort to bridge science and society. Today is 6th of July, the day our world gets together to celebrate World Zoonoses Day. Let's find out why is it so important to us. Now in the year 1885, on this day, Louis Pasteur administered vaccine against rabies. And to commemorate this feat and raise awareness about zoonotic diseases like that of rabies, World Zoonosis Day is celebrated. Somewhere in 1880s, Rudolf Virko, father of modern pathology, described the linkage of animals with human disease by a word, zoonosis. Okay, so zoonosis is a Greek word, wherein zoo means animal, and news means disease. Now that we have framed a historical perspective, let us note how this term is referred to presently. Zoonoses, as defined by WHO, are diseases and infections which are naturally transmissible between vertebrate animals and humans. So how significant are these diseases and infections after all? Well, 60% of human pathogens are zoonotic in nature. Of all the known pathogens, roughly 80% of virus, 50% of bacteria, 40% of fungi, 70% of protozoa and 95% of helminths are found to be zoonotic. And of all the emerging and re-emerging infectious diseases, almost three-fourths are zoonotic in nature. Now before we explore the influence of zoonosis from the Indian context, I would encourage you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. There are three underlying factors that contribute in making India a hotspot for zoonosis. These are demographic, social and environmental. The demographic factors include high population density of human and animals that bring animal-animal, human-human and animal-human in close contact. Above all, our fast-growing population then becomes a matter of greater concern. Socio-economic factors include poverty and malnutrition, lack of proper hygiene and sanitation, poor health status and weak immunity. On the other hand, increased domestic and global connectivity, economic factors leading to population migration and social practices. Whereas, the environmental factors like deforestation and change in agricultural practices such as mixed farming, habitat destruction due to unplanned urbanization has placed humans at increasing contact with animal and arthropod vectors of viral infections and these factors act as a catalyst in the spread of zoonotic diseases. We'll now take a quick glance over key zoonotic diseases of public health importance. Here is a word cloud of some of these deadliest diseases, at least a few of which I'm sure you would have certainly heard of. The key drivers of zoonoses are the reservoir, the root and the host. Therefore, prevention and control measures need to be focused on these factors. These measures can be adopted through reservoir neutralization, reducing contact potential and increasing host resistance. Let us take these one by one. The ultimate source of zoonotic diseases is the infected reservoir. Therefore, if infection in the reservoir can be reduced or removed, other sources of infection progressively become less or disappear. It can be achieved by 1. Culling the infected ones from the herd 2. Mass therapy of all potentially infected animals or humans and 3. By the way of environmental manipulation, that is, breaking the chain of transmission between the infected host and the susceptible host by reducing survival of the pathogen in the vector or vehicle of transmission. Now how to reduce contact potential? 
This can be achieved effectively by isolation of the clinically infected and quarantine of potentially exposed susceptible ones. Host resistance can be augmented either by chemoprophylaxis or immunization. One Health approach addresses the challenges that public health, animal health, both domestic and wildlife, and the environment faces today. To make One Health a reality, what we need is to pool all our efforts selflessly. Having learned lessons from the present pandemic, it's the time to act. Our commitment and dedication in sensitizing, raising awareness, and educating one and all can save the generations to come. Let our actions speak more than words. If you have gained some knowledge to take away or enjoy the content, I'd wish you convey this to us through your likes and comments. Take care and stay safe. If you have watched the video so far, we offer you a chance to celebrate World Zoonosis Day with us. We welcome you to challenge yourself with a quiz, which is a part of our campaign on raising awareness about zoonosis in the society. Yes, your e-certificate as a top performer awaits. The link is provided in the description below and is open until midnight Indian Standard Time. Lastly, I urge you to follow Vigyan Setu Foundation for numerous other activities through our website, blog and other social media sites.